Bill Gates. Now you can use the internet to get information. It's quick and convenient. Bill Gates created software on his laptop. Although he is one of the richest men in the world, he is very thrifty. He also has a warm and charitable heart. When Bill was in elementary school, he didn't like to study. Bill is not interested in studying. What shall we do? Hmm, I don't understand. He memorized the Bible, though. <laughs> His memorization took place during a church service, when people had to memorize passages from the Bible. No one could ever memorize this. It's difficult. Then, Bill came out on the stage. Although he was only 11, he memorized the Bible passages without getting anything wrong. Then, Bill was sent to a child observation clinic. <sighs> I want to find out what I want to do. But they say only to study. From now on, read books. Books will tell you about the future. Bill's parents decided to just watch him for now. Bill entered Lakeside Elementary School. The school held a bazaar and used the earnings to set up computer terminals. Computers were really expensive back then. Each computer was as big as a room. Bill was excited to see computers. Bill studied skills and languages for computers. Bill, you need to sleep. It's bad for your health if you study all night long. But Bill wouldn't listen. Wow! Computers are really interesting! <laughs> Dad! Computers are really fun! Hmm, how do you use one? Computers are useless unless they have control programs. Just like TV can't run without programs. Now I understand, Bill, and I'm impressed. Bill studied with friends who also liked computers, such as Paul Allen. Then, one day, one classmate's parent offered them a job at a corporation that was run by people from computer centers of Washington University. From the next day, Bill and his friends went to work for the company. You can use computers after your workday is done, but you need to record problems that you find. Computers were expensive, so they had to borrow them. So, does this mean that the more problems we find, the more money we can earn? Yes, that's exactly it. Normally, there were passwords for computers. Bill was curious, and finally he found the password. However, the computer turned off with a pop sound. Who broke the computer? Who did this? The company director was angry. I can't believe you just broke a computer that cost hundreds of dollars. Bill, you are fired. After that incident, Bill concentrated on his studying. One day, Alan came to him. Bill, the corporation went bust. They have nothing left. They took the desks, computers, and everything else. Later on, Alan came to Bill with a big smile on his face. Bill, Washington University allowed us to use their computer room. Other friends heard the news and also came to the university. 
However, the university eventually shut down their computer room. Soon afterward, a company asked Bill and his friends to make a salary calculating program. Bill asked his dad, who was a lawyer, about salaries, and he soon completed the program with his friends. In return, they were able to use the company's computer for a long time. Officials at the city hall asked them to make a program for a traffic survey. This is to calculate how many cars have passed. Bill was able to finish his work after staying up all night. Then, Bill started to realize that there was a future for computers. The day came for presenting the program in front of staff members. Fantastic! This is amazing! Everyone praised him enthusiastically. Bill and his friends were known as professional programmers. One day, a company called TRW contacted Bill to sort out their computer problems. Bill told his friends about it. TRW is a company running a hydroelectric plant. They have computer problems often, so it's hard to keep dams working. The next day, the workers were surprised to see high school students. Do you think you can do it? The work is very difficult. Yes, we know what your company does. While working, Bill met a programmer called John Norton. Alan, a computer is a magic box, don't you think? The world of computers will come soon. Yeah, it will get here faster than we think. Bill and Ellen talked to and encouraged each other. Bill studied hard to get into a good university. As a result, Bill was accepted to Harvard, Princeton, and Yale. Bill, I want you to study law at Harvard. However, Bill wanted to study computers more than law. Bill and Alan decided to open their own company, Microsoft. They hired their friends from Lakeside School. The company grew quickly, and they had a lot of work to do. Bill Gates then developed OS Windows. The world was amazed by his creation. This program is used on most of the computers in the world. Bill is still not satisfied. He is still working harder to make better programs. <laughs>